Chick Boyd, Baseball Detective. The full moon hung in the air like a giant eyeball staring down at the streets of the Big Apple. The name's Chick Boyd. I spend my days and nights looking square in the face of the other side of baseball's tracks. A cork bat, pine tar, or a two-bit mook throwing a curve my way. Those are the cases that keep me up at night. It was on a night like any other. I was at my desk reminiscing about the one that got away when the phone rang. Daphne, my assistant, answered. Chick Boy, Detective Agency. Mm-hmm. It's for you, stupid. It was obvious that things were still a little tense between Daphne and I ever since, well, that's a story for another time. Chick Boyd, start talking. Uh-huh. 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 The stoolie on the other end of the horn tipped me off about a big to-do with the Yankees. It was the same old story. Big time slugger gets ripped off, he's crying his eyes out, and the big man himself is ready to chew through the furniture. I knew I had to get up there right away. Gotta go, doll. Looks like Chick's heading up to the Bronx. Drop dead on the way there, will ya? I stopped at the newsstand and asked 12th Street Jimmy if he'd heard anything. Not a peep. I went over to Murphy's Bar to have a word with 3rd Avenue Frank. He wasn't there. My investigation having reached a dead end, I decided to drop by the apartment for a snack and to check my messages. The sugar cookies were good. You have three new messages. First message. Chicky, it's your mother. How come you don't call? Your father's on his third heart attack from worry. My son, the big shot. He can't even call his mother. You're a bum. Deleted. Second message. Oh, Mr. Boyd, this is Sidney Fields, your landlord. I'm going downtown to see my brother, but when I get back, I expect to find the rent waiting for me. I don't want to have to... Deleted. Third message. Yeah, Mr. Boyd, they took everything. My bat, my glove, my pants, my lucky box of crackers. You know, the kind with the peanut butter already on them. My Pokemon cards, my Louis Soho bobblehead. I listened to his sob story until I couldn't take the pathetic whining any longer. I knew the sooner I solved the case, the quicker I could get back to that box of sugar cookies. I hopped in the roadster and took off for the Bronx. Yankee Stadium was dark. Too dark. I saw a -a rent-a-cop guarding the gate. Hey Mac, I'm Chick Boyd, here to investigate the slugger's missing junk. Hey buddy, they're down in Florida. Take a hike. The case had suddenly gone as cold as Al Leiter's bat. They'd hightailed it out of town with the slugger and the evidence. There was nothing to do but head home thinking of another one that got away. Oh yeah, and those sugar cookies? That's a story for another time. Stay tuned to this station for the next episode of Chick Boyd Baseball Detective. <laughs>